I am a 10 and perfect. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, before we get into the topic of this particular talk here, I want to start off with a comment that was made by Tony Robbins, where he said, the difference in people's lives are their decisions. So with that said, we must understand that there's a difference between a preference and a decision. Now, let's use the example of a person that says they want to go to San Diego. A person who wants to go to San Diego and they will allow obstacles to get in their way and keep them from making that a reality, those are people that are living in a preference. Now, the person that will not allow anything or anyone to prevent them to go into San Diego, they have made a decision. See, most people haven't made a decision in so long, they don't really understand what a decision is. See, the definition of a decision means you cut off all options. By the way, for those of you that are wondering, if you don't do nothing, you have made a decision and there are results attached to doing nothing. See, decisions are the reason that I share that most New Year's resolutions don't work for most people. See, let's use the most common New Year's resolution, which as we know is losing weight. Now, if a person has made a decision, they'll start changing their eating habits immediately. And guess what? It has nothing to do with the date on the calendar or starting on Monday. See, if a person says I'm waiting until Monday or they're waiting for the new year to begin, they're playing in what I call the preference zone and chances of them staying committed to losing weight, very slim. I remember there was a guy in the car when I was doing ride share and he told me he was about to become a vegan in like June. And it was like November or December. So basically what he was telling me, in six or seven months, he was getting ready to go from eating meat to not eating meat. Now, how many of you believe he was actually going to become a vegan? See, I can say with confidence that one, he'll probably never start. Or two, it'll be short-lived if he does. Just like most people's New Year's resolutions. Now, why do I feel so certain that he will not become or at least stay a vegan. Again, if he had made a decision, he would have started now. Whatever he's going to use as his mental distraction that's supposedly going to prevent him from eating meat, it's not working now. So why would it become so strong in the future? He's in what I call the preference zone. Now stay with me for a second because the difference between decision and preferences will make sense, and you guys will see how talk, it'll actually tie into this talk. Now, if you've listened to me talk on the topic of perfection, you know I have a different view than most, or at least what's being taught. See, to me, a person who understands that everything is perfect and everything turns out perfectly would be the definition of a perfectionist. A person who's always looking for what is wrong would be an imperfectionist. It amazes me how as a society will call a person or people love to call themselves a perfectionist and they're always looking for what's wrong. Now, let me clarify what I mean here. The example I like to use is the making of a cake. Now, if you put certain ingredients in a cake, you place the ingredients in a pan and let's say the pan has a dent in the side of it. You place that cake in the oven at a certain temperature. You let it cook for a certain amount of time. When you take that cake out of the oven, it will be perfect. It will come out exactly the way it is supposed to turn out based on all the steps we just described. The cake will always have a, also have a, a dent in the side. Why? Because the pan had a dent. So we now know exactly what we need to do if we wanted to duplicate that particular cake, right? That's why I said it's perfect, because we know the exact formula to get that particular result. Now, if we don't like that result, then we change the ingredients. Let's say it didn't cook all the way through. Then we know we need to change the time that we let it cook while we change the temperature. 
If we don't want the dent in the cake, then we change the pan, right? So whatever change or changes we make, we will get a new perfect result. This is always also why you guys never hear me talking about failure to define what takes place in a person's life. It is true that things will definitely go different in some instances than we want. So what we need to do is change the ingredients or whatever else was involved. So now you got a good understanding of where I'm coming from. I can get into the topic of why I said I am a 10 and I'm perfect. Each individual on earth was created differently on purpose. There are no two people the same. Think about it. How exciting would it be if everyone looked the same and thought the same? No matter how you believe we got here on earth or your other beliefs, you hopefully realize that we are all unique and therefore perfect the way we were designed to be. Whatever the ingredients or the circumstances that took place, if repeated, we would be duplicated. But to keep our uniqueness, we were created and the mold was changed. Now, I know some of you guys have heard people say it, or you may even say it yourself, either trying to be funny, or in some cases, people trying to flirt when they go, uh, you know, you were created, uh, they threw away the mold. <laughs> so whatever tools or instruments were used, it is true for each and every one of us that the mold was removed. So with that said, Never allow this society to tell you or make you believe anything different than the fact that you are perfect. See, this particular acknowledgement also hits directly at the conversation on decisions. You are not your decisions. Do not define yourself, your perfection by your decisions. The reason I like to clarify this is because if you think you are your decisions, then you become a victim in your life and you believe there's nothing you can do about your circumstances. But if you understand that your outcomes, the results in life were created from decisions and are therefore separate from you, then you recognize that in order to get different results in your life, you just need to change by making different decisions, changing the ingredients. Now, this clarity will allow you to forgive yourself when things don't go as planned and empower you with the wisdom to know that you are in control and you can create the future that you desire. For many of you, this one point will truly, if you grasp it, it'll change your life immediately. So I'm hoping this discussion explains why I started off with the comment from Tony Robbins about the difference between people's lives being based or different based on their decisions. So now let me close out this talk by sharing why I said I'm a 10. <laughs> well, if I'm perfect, wouldn't that make me a 10? See, we're caught in a world that loves to judge and put labels on people. Now, sometimes labels are important for the purpose of communication. If I said car, it is a label that describes a vehicle that as a society we have come to an agreement that that's what it is. If I say airplane, again, it allows us to communicate. Now, when I use labels like depression, anger, or happiness, those are labels that describe an emotional state and, again, allow us to communicate. But when you use labels by looking at a person and calling them a number 1 to 10, we're now playing in the preference zone. At this point, a person is giving their opinion, and that is all it is. And when you start to use your preferences to define others, I believe you need to check your humanity. Why, why do I say that? I remember when I was younger, um, most models, they were thin, and almost all of them were blonde hair, blue eyes, and those were classified as tens. My question, by whose standards and whose preference? So if you didn't fit those characteristics, then you couldn't possibly be a 10. Nonsense. Now we are fortunate we've come a long way in our society and more and more sizes and shapes are actually qualifying. <laughs> Again, 
who's deciding this? My point is, if I have the power to decide on the scale of one to 10 on a physical appearance, where do I see myself? And I have that power. Why would I give myself any other number than 10? Because someone else doesn't think I'm a 10? Think about this. If you were the only person on earth, or if you were blind and couldn't see, what would you give yourself? See, you wouldn't have the ability, and if society was blind, no one would have the ability to compare you or themselves to anyone else. This is why it's been said, and I agree, in many instances, mankind would be better served if they were blind. Now, let me move to this topic about a person's body size, and I'm only mentioning it because a lot of people have this as a stumbling block in their life. You must love you and accept you as you are. If your size is limiting you in any way in your life, then make adjustments. And remember this, life's problems don't take away from your perfection and you seeing yourself as a 10. The adjustments are being made to live a more fulfilled and healthier life. Most important adjustment will be stop comparing. This one adjustment will change many areas in your life, including your relationship with others. Now, the reason I'm bringing up comparing and putting emphasis on it is because we have industries that feed on making people feel inferior, lousy, and not attend about yourselves. Their entire marketing campaign is designed to make you feel less than. And of course, the only way to collect your, correct your flaws is by using what they have to offer. So here's the key. You don't need the world to see you as a 10 or these companies. The only opinion that counts is yours. See, quit trying to be everyone else's 10 because there's no one on earth that is a 10 to everyone. See, what you're doing is you're looking for the person that sees the real beauty, you, and your perfection. So take pride in the fact that you are a 10 and you are perfect. Do not allow people that have a low self-esteem to define you so they can feel better about themselves. And as you know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. Now, for those of you that we talk on Relationship Thursday, I will communicate with you then. For those of you on Self Love Monday, I look forward to communicating you with you, <laughs> with you next week. Uh, take the time to visit me over at ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online to get up to date on all the things that I have going on. And remember, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk with you guys soon. And remember, don't allow others' lack of belief in themselves to become your reality for yourself. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.